Hey my friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Shailene Louise, if we haven't met. Today I'm going to just talk and do a little paint with me video. I wanted to share a story about something that happened earlier this year. I shared it on an Instagram post a while back, but it's definitely been a theme I've been pondering a ton over the past few months. So earlier this year, I went to Spring at the Silos event over at Magnolia, which was just so incredible. <laughs> the most like magical, fun, pinch me experience. I just, it was incredible. So I was there for two weekends and I had my art set up in the garden and I spent the majority of the four days I was there, like two weekends. So, so I think it was Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday. I was live painting. So basically people wandering through the gardens had the opportunity to either watch me paint or stop and have a chat. And it was just such an incredible experience. I met so many amazing and kind people so quickly. In fact, I don't remember ever being in a situation where I've interacted with so many people of all different ages in such a quick procession of time. I genuinely have no idea how many people I talked to, but it was probably hundreds, if I had to guess, um, maybe in the mid hundreds, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but I definitely had to say that interacting with that many people that quickly showed me some patterns that I was really surprised by. And so here's what I found very, very interesting. The thing that really stood out to me was the number of times I heard a variation of one of the following comments, either, wow, I can't even draw stick figures, or I would never have the patience to create something like that. And hear me out, I know that those are lighthearted comments, I really do, and I know that they're probably meant more as a compliment than anything, but it still kind of made me sad after a little while, after I heard it so many times. And let me tell you why. Not a single kid told me that they couldn't do what I was doing. In fact, most of the kids I met wanted to <laughs> paint along with me, or they wanted to tell me what they would draw if they were me. It was hilarious. I remember this one girl told me that I needed to put angel wings behind all my flowers, and she told me that it would really take my art to the next level. <laughs> And I remember a boy spilling all of my paint water all over <laughs> in his eagerness to get right up close. And he was telling me about how he was an artist as well. Um, his mom was mortified. <laughs> it was really funny. I was like, don't worry, I have a kid too. It's fine. But um, yeah, all together, I just remember thinking it was incredible how confident kids are. And it really hit me. The belief that we can make something beautiful is just the most natural thing to a child. And I think we must start out with that way. We must have that belief that we can do whatever we set our mind to doing. But that belief maybe has to be protected and cultivated. Because it's super clear to me that at some point, limiting beliefs will try and creep in and tell us that we can't do it. Over my entire life, but especially these last 10 years or so, painting has brought me so much joy and so much satisfaction. Um, even in those moments when a painting doesn't look the way I was hoping it would, or maybe in those moments where my ability doesn't quite match where I want to be. And I have those moments. I'm human. <laughs> I definitely have those moments all the time. But really, in the grand scheme of things, I, I don't think it even matters because I truly believe that finding enjoyment in the creative process is what is most important. It's all about enjoying the journey. So I hope you'll let this be your encouragement to let yourself try a new creative endeavor before saying you can't do it. Worst case, you might find it's not for you, but best case, you might find an outlet that brings you so much confidence and joy for years to come. Let me know if this strikes a chord with you. And I would also love to hear, why do you think that self-confidence can kind of decline or deteriorate or, you know, just kind of be broken down as we grow up? And what do you think is the best way to prevent that happening? Okay, leave me your answers below and I'll answer below too. 
I can't wait to hear your thoughts and thanks for watching this video.